I think it's crap. And I'm not guilty anyway. Angela Wilson came to Pine Lawn's crowded municipal court to resolve her traffic case, but the prosecutor was unavailable. So Wilson and other defendants were sent home and told to come back. So I'll be back for the third time. The third time? Yes, the first time I came and pleaded not guilty. This time I came to do the case and no one was here to handle it. So I'll be back for a third time. So how big of an inconvenience is that? It's very inconvenient. Pine Lawn pays for nearly half its budget with revenue generated through its municipal court. That's about three and a half million dollars in just the last two years. But try talking to a city official about that. We don't have the mayor who is under federal indictment has declined to be interviewed. Mr. Gray. The new Pine Lawn prosecutor is Anthony Gray, one of the attorneys for Mike Brown's family. He also refused to discuss Pine Lawn justice. I have no comment about that. Before he recently became Pine Lawn's prosecutor, he was Pine Lawn's director of public safety or police chief. And before that, Gray had been the city's prosecutor. I don't know if they, what, how much they're collecting. Pine Lawn is one of 90 municipalities in St. Louis County. 81 of them have their own court systems, which is sometimes a major source of revenue. If you can work it out this morning with the prosecutor, great. If you can't, we'll give you a trial date, okay? Okay. In 2013, Ferguson, a city of 21,000, issued nearly 33,000 warrants for arrest for nonviolent offenses. Many of them involved traffic violations. We're not looking to give everybody convictions. That's not the purpose of this court or any court. When we interviewed Ferguson Municipal Court Judge Ron Brockmeyer several months ago, he was also the judge of nearby Breckenridge Hills and the prosecutor for the cities of Florissant, Delwood, and Venita Park, a legal juggling act that he insisted never compromised justice. That's a lot of hats to juggle. How are you able to do that? I've just been doing it for a long time and do a good job. That's why they got me in those places. No justice, no, no peace. The protests that erupted in Ferguson after the shooting of Mike Brown also brought attention to the municipal court systems that critics said were heavy handed and deepened the community's resentment toward law enforcement and local government in general. In response, Ferguson eliminated some court fees, and Brockmeyer said Ferguson police stopped arresting people for failure to appear in court. But several months after Brown was shot and killed, other issues remained unchanged. For example, all 17 of Ferguson's municipal court employees were still white, and nearly nine out of 10 defendants were black. Oh, I think it's, it sends a bad signal. I agree with you totally on that. People really feel abandoned in like the justice system on the municipal level in some places is just using them as an ATM. And these are populations that are largely poor. Dave Leipholz authored a study on the municipal courts of St. Louis County for the group Better Together. They feel taken advantage of. They don't have faith in the justice system, which is a huge problem. It impacts their interactions with police officers and, and it really changes how they feel about their community. I think they should be shut down and, and uh, St. Louis County should take them over. For Angela Wilson and other defendants still held in a municipal court system that critics call a debtor's prison, justice is slow, sometimes impossible to find. And on this night, it gave the poorest of them nothing but a long, cold walk home.